In this video we'll be looking at upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the Microsoft website and you want to download the media creation tool. So once you have that downloaded go ahead and run that file. The media creation tool is going to be version 1903 that we're installing Windows 10. Okay, so once you've started running that, that's going to start talking back to Microsoft now, and that's going to go ahead and get all the files that we need uh, in order to install Windows 10. We'll accept the uh, terms and conditions out. So you can upgrade the PC directly now without having to uh, do anything else or you can basically create the media onto a USB or you can create it as an ISO. Uh, we'll untick the settings there and what we're going to do for this video, we're going to literally create uh, a USB version with Windows 10 on it. So I've got a 8 gig USB uh, already plugged in so we'll go ahead and we'll select that. That'll start downloading all the files from Microsoft now. Okay, so that's downloaded, that's finished, uh, the USB is ready to go. So next thing we'll do now is we will reboot the machine. So once we've rebooted there, you can go into the boot menu and select the uh, USB device directly or you can go into your boot options in the BIOS and you can also select removable devices which will start uh, the boot up from USB. So we'll go ahead and we'll save those changes. And that should start the installation for Windows 10. Okay, so we'll select the correct uh, time format for your zone. We'll go ahead and install now. Okay, so we won't put the product key in yet, so we'll just select, I do not have a product key, we will select that later. Um, so whichever Windows 7 version you have, whether it's Home, uh, Pro, or Education, just select the correct version there. And again, we'll select the uh, Terms and Conditions. So you've got two options here. You can do the upgrade option, which will go ahead and keep all your files and applications and settings in place. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and do a fresh installation of Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the current partitions there for which is used for Windows 7. So we'll get rid of those. Okay, so once they're all deleted, we'll go ahead and create a new partition and we'll allocate all the space for it. So apply will OK that. That'll go ahead and create the partitions that are needed for Windows 10. OK, so we'll select Next. And that will go ahead and start installing the operating system on the partition uh, you've just created. So we'll let that run, we'll let that finish up. Okay, so once that's installed, that's just going to go ahead and get the operating system ready. So I'm just going to create a name for the user account. I'll also enter a password in here as well.
Okay, so once Windows 10 has finished installing, you'll need to activate Windows 10. So first we'll go to the Start menu, we'll go to the Settings option, and we'll go to System. And then we'll scroll down to About. Okay, so this will then give you the uh, system information. So you want to go down to the bottom and select the system info option, which will give you details about your license. So today we can see that we have Windows 10 installed. It's a 64-bit operating system. And we can also see that Windows is not activated yet. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Activate Windows option on the right-hand side. You then want to select the Change Product Key option there. So this is where you want to get the license key from the back of your laptop or on your desktop. And once you've got that, just pop in the license key there. Select Next and activate. That will then contact uh, Microsoft. That will then go over to their servers and activate the license if it's a valid license. Okay, so Windows is now activated. So let's just close down these windows and we'll just go in and confirm that. So if we go back to the start option and into settings and then system. And then back to about, we'll do the same thing as well. We'll go back down to the bottom now and we'll look at the system info. Okay, so now you can see that Windows is activated. So in this video, we did a fresh install, but you can also do an upgrade if you'd prefer to keep all your documents and programs uh, intact, but it's, it's totally up to you. If you do do a fresh install like we've done here, just make sure that you back up all your files before starting because they'll be completely gone if you, if you follow this method here and create a new partition as well. So that's how you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free.